Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Community Editor on State of Decay 2. I have found a lot of videos out there, but none have been too descriptive, and it took me a while to figure out the ins and outs of it. So I'm going to leave a Discord link down in the description, and it's going to leave you to this page here. The easiest way to find the actual download for it is uh, Pinned Messages. And you're going to scroll down until you can see the Community Editor. There's a cheat engine. Let's uh, check the community editor right here. Most of the time they'll have the uh, new update posted. You'll just have to look for a download link. Yeah, this is the one that I used right here, version three. So you're gonna download this file and it's gonna give you a zip file like that. You're going to go ahead and right click and um, extract all. I just did it in this file folder. If you look inside, it's going to have the community editor right there. And then these are two save characters. You can actually import and export characters to save for later. But after you got that downloaded, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to launch your Xbox and create a new community. You can do this on your computer too if you'd want. You're going to want to make sure that you're logged into your profile. So go ahead and do Cascade Hills, standard difficulty. I'm just going to pick some random characters here since it's not really going to matter. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. So go ahead and start the community. Like I said, these characters aren't going to matter too much as you can change the skin and their characteristics and their traits, their skill levels. We'll go ahead and skip this. Alright, so if you're playing on Xbox, what you would want to go ahead and do now is exit the game. So you go down and you'd exit game. And then you would launch it on your PC so it creates the save files on your PC you need those save files on your PC to be able to transfer it to your Xbox. If you don't have a PC that can run State of Decay, you're kind of out of luck for this community editor. So now I like to do is I like to go look for um, a gun first off because you'll be able to edit the guns more. So I'm going to fast forward here until I can find a gun. All right, now that we have a gun and we got some supplies here and the base claim, now we can go to the editing. So here's the point if you're on Xbox, after you've done all this, you've found your first weapons, you wanna go ahead and sure you still exit the game again. and you're gonna run it on your PC. You need to run it on your PC so this next part will work. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and exit the game. Go ahead and exit the main menu. Go ahead and exit this out. So now, if it's saved on your PC, when you go to your community editor file that we found earlier, I'm going to run community editor. Mine was in slot one. So as you can see, we have all of our survivors here. As you can see, you can edit their name. You can do their character models. I'm going to leave a link down in the description of which character models and what they look like to a guy on Reddit. I'll give him credit down in the description below. You can do their current health and current stamina. This is where you can do the traits. I'll also leave a link to that of what all the traits do. You can affect their skills. And one thing that I had trouble figuring out on, um, let's say you want to get cardio and marathon. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to go to cardio 7. And then you would be able to add cardio marathon. And you can change that to 7. If you don't have the base cardio in there and you just try to do the cardio marathon, it'll crash your game. So make sure you're doing that. And then you can add, you know, whatever traits you want. Like we can make her add her to the mortal trait. You just cross that over. It does have a search function. I like to use the strings and then sort. So let's say you wanted to find all the stamina ones. If you click those two, you can scroll down and you can find all the stamina boosts. I can find this one. There it is. Stamina attribute, just keep going. Add that over. So now, while we got the gun earlier, if we go to inventory, 
And if we did not get the gun first, it would not show a ranged weapon category here. Since we did that first, now we have that gun, we can see the durability and set amount. We can duplicate the item. We can duplicate that a couple times. And now we can change the item. If you don't get the gun first, you won't be able to do this at all. So I'd definitely like to do that first. So now let's go in and say, get the scar H. We can change that to the scar. Now we can change this to whatever we want. We can change this to, um, what do we want to change it to? To MP5 pistol. Do that. Now we can go in here and edit the amount of ammo we have too. I try not to go over 999. You can also duplicate this too. So if I change it to 999 and I duplicate it, then I would have two stacks in my inventory. We'll go over and we'll go ahead and change all this just to show this off. All right, we got all those there. You can also edit this stuff if you want. You can change the item to a big backpack, whatever you want to do. Close combat weapons, melee weapons. I like to use the, um, if I can find it fairly quickly, I like to use the katana. There it is. All right, with durability, I try not to go over 999 as well. If you go too high, let's see if I can show you an example. If you go like that, and you click off of it, you go back. If it has this 1 infinity plus 14 right here, that means your weapon will be broken. So you don't want to do that. We can go 9,999 and duplicate it a couple times. All right, from there... We go back to the main page, you can edit your resources. So like, let's say we wanted 100 food, 100 meds, 100 ammo. We can edit it like that, and we can also unlock all map icons, remove radio cooldown. We can do all this here. Complete all bounties. You can also find all the vehicles in the map. You can change what they are. I mean, you can change... There's a giant list here of what you can change it. You can change it to anything. You can fully heal the vehicle. You can delete the vehicle. You can see your map here and the hot points of the vehicles. The facilities, you can add. Let's see, we can go to the kitchen and we can attach mods. Look for facility mod types and then kitchen. You could find, you know, slow cooker. There we go. Back to survivors here, if I wanted to import a survivor that I've saved off a previously edited file, I would go import, and these are the ones that I've made here. This is the best character that I've made, his health bar is ridiculous. You can also change their leader type of what they're going to be, and their hero bonus of what they're going to be. Alright, so after you've saved everything that you've changed, you're going to want to launch State of Decay on your computer. Go ahead and launch it here. You have to launch it on your computer first or none of this will work. Wait for the startup screen here. Press any key to continue and you're gonna wanna select that community so it can load all the changes you just made. So if we go in, we should have our resources, our materials, our influence, and our weapons changed. Alright, so we go here. We can see that we got a scar on our back. Go ahead and launch our inventory here. The pipes are working, the breaker box is connected. Enjoy your water and power, everyone. We can see all the ammo that's been changed here, oh, and we, we can see the deagle. So much. We brought some supplies as a welcome to our town. It's time to get building. Either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start. You can see everything that's been changed. So now, after you've loaded onto PC and you've made all the changes you want to got, you got it figured out, you're going to want to exit the game, go ahead and quit to exit the main menu, or exit all the way out, and you're going to want to launch it on Xbox so everything will save. But you have to launch it on PC first. 
If your game keeps crashing after you've made changes to the community editor, you can find your backups in a certain file. Let me see if I can exit here. Go into the same file that the community edited in and you can see your backups, all the backups you've made. As you can see, I've edited a lot here. So if your game keeps crashing, you want to try things different. I know, like if I try to add survivors that had guns in their inventory or etc when this hasn't been unlocked it's been crashing if you um do certain things with the facility mods it'll crash you just got to give it a kind of trial and error well that should wrap it up if you guys have any questions just shoot me a message or leave a comment below and i'll do my best to help you thanks for watching